Today I have the pleasure of speaking with John Sebastian Lavallee. How are you today? I'm very good. I'd like to start by congratulating you. Your stock is literally flying ever since you announced the news of this new strategic partner. Can you tell our audience more about this? So this agreement with the strategic partner is a game changer for critical element because we we have three main points in this agreement. First is technical support, where the partner will help us to develop all the feasibility study and the project from beginning to the production. So this is very important in that uh, chemical area because you need this expertise. The second point, we have a, an agreement that includes a take or pay offtake agreement for all the material produced by the mine. No other lithium or any rare earth or graphite company have this kind of strong agreement. And just show how strong is our partner because a take or pay deal is a rent ease that they will pay for the material if they don't take it. So they will take it or they will pay for it. So it's very important. And the third point and major point of the agreement, they have an option to participate for the project financing. So the investor always asking how you will finance this project we now have a partner that can help to finance a project. Okay, so if I understand correctly, this is, this, if you ask me, is, is quite large news and helps support why your stock is moving so rapidly. Um, you have a, a partner that uh, is basically an end user for you as well. And of course, anyone who's read the news release knows that you've not revealed who that partner is yet. So it must be a large partner because they can help you with the financing or participate. Is that correct? Yeah, the agreements show how large is the partner. We can uh, say who is a partner, but it's a leading chemical company that is based all around the world with a strong financial. So yes, it's a major step for us. Okay, so for those of you out there going, wow, this sounds very interesting, I'm going to back you up and can you tell us a little bit more and give our audience an overview on who is Critical Elements Corporation? Yeah, Critical Elements is a emerging company and we are developing a lithium tantalum deposit based north of Quebec in James Bay. And uh, we will produce different products. This is some uh, something that attract our partner because we will produce lithium spodumene for the glass industry. We'll produce lithium carbonate for the battery market and we'll produce tantalum for the capacitor market. So it's a three different segment and it the risk the project for future demand. So if the market for battery is just slowing down, we can go more on the ceramic market. Plus we have the byproduct of tantalum that is very attractive for different end users. Well, we, I, ag I agree with you. We've seen the kind of audience response we're getting to both tantalum and lithium stories presently. So with regards to the strategic partner, they're going to help you take, like in the short term, take you to the feasibility study. Is that correct? Can you give exactly. us a bit of a, a short term plan of action? On short term, the, the partner will help us to build a very strong feasibility study with all the technical support from them. They will come in Quebec, they will help our team to be sure that this project will work well and will deliver the material on time, like without any delay in future. So they will help us to go to direct to production. Okay, and best case, since it sounds to me like they're also going to help facilitate uh, additional offtake agreements for yeah. you, when will you be in production? Best case scenario. I will say a love company did big promise in the last five, six years on lithium. Uh, we learned a lot about all the mistakes made by the other company. We traveled all around the world. We met all the battery uh, manufacturers, uh, lots of chemical company, and we think uh, in Canada, we're very good to build flotation plan to produce concentrate. Uh, chemical is a big challenge. This is why we attract a large partner to build the chemical. But chemical plan is not because we can build that, but it takes time. So we don't want overpromise on this part, but we think we can be able to produce concentrate for the glass market and tantalum by 30 to 36 months. And we'll have to add another 12 to 20 months after that production to produce lithium carbonate. So by four years, four year and a half, we will be able to produce lithium carbonate, full production. Well, and that's an interesting timeline. I have my analysts are all uh, sending me emails about what they anticipate is happening with the lithium market. So why don't I just ask you, because I'm certain you're, you're fully uh, engrossed in this topic. So number one, where is lithium going and what kind of demand should we be seeing, say, in the next five years? 
Well, if we look at the last two years, the demand increased by 10 to 20 percent per year. So if we look at the forecast, we think by 2020, they will need, the market will need another 80 to 100,000 tons uh, by 20. And when, when we look at the market, there is no new producer that will come into production before 20. Uh, I can challenge any company that will say that they will be in production within two years. It takes four to five years to ramp up a chemical plant. So we think by 20, there will be a big disrupt in the market. And the price will fly. Uh, but really, we think we are right on timing to catch this market by 20. And speaking of catching the market, Critical Elements is a name, it's kind of a dark horse that maybe I would argue not, not as many people should know about as perhaps they should. What should shareholders looking to get involved anticipate, say, over the next quarter or two? But there will be completion of the feasibility study. There will be completion of the EIS, the permitting. So all this should be complete by 12 months and followed by project financing with our partner and construction. So it will be an exci exciting time in the coming months. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. Thank you. It was a pleasure.